Junior turned out to be a mad uh, deadline day for you and uh, you eventually made the move to Stoke City. You must be really pleased that a deal's done and you can test yourself now at a high level. Yeah, most definitely. Um, firstly, I obviously want to say thank you to the club, to all the staff, the academy staff, um, the fans as well, of course. We obviously played a big part in making this happen. Obviously, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be in a position I am now. Uh, coming through as a young boy, it's all I really wanted to do, do well for the club and hopefully have that opportunity to progress onto the higher divisions and the opportunity has come and it's one I felt um, I, couldn't, I couldn't turn down, like for me and my family as well, so I'm glad to have got it done and yeah, it was a hectic day but we got there in the end which I'm buzzing and I'm proud of achieving. Yeah, and you, you must feel that it, you know coming to Coast United has, like you say, helped this happen, and you're exactly the kind of player that you know we've got used to. Uh, you know that have come in, progressed through the academy into the first team, and then played a number of games, and, and then uh, everyone's happy in, in the end uh, when you go on. And we all want to now see you do really well at Stoke City. Yeah, of course. Um, like you said, the amount of games I've played for the club, um, obviously at my age. I thought it was though, so a huge achievement for myself and like I said again, it's without the club, um, the opportunity that the club gives, the pathway that the club has, I wouldn't be in this position to kind of move on, which I, so that's something I'm always grateful for. Yeah, and obviously you were up there on Friday and then they played on Saturday, did you get to meet the, the staff and the players up there? Yeah, I had uh, met them after the game um, in the change room, uh, watched the game of course. And yeah, they all seem like a great bunch of lads and I'm ready to obviously get into training tomorrow and kick on. Yeah. Do you think it'll be a good thing or a frustrating thing that they haven't got a game next weekend that you can get your teeth into or hope to be in the squad for? It's obviously got the international break coming up. Yeah, I think it's a bit of both really. Um, of course, that allows me more time to gel with the squad and more time to train, more training time on the pitch. But at the same time, I want to I just want to like, prove to everyone, to the manager, that I'm capable of playing at this level. So the games obviously can't come quick enough for me, but I'm just willing to work as hard as I can to get in and around it. And, and of course, most players I know, uh, and as they should be, uh, confident in their own ability and confident that you must be confident that you can make that step up and, uh, and really move on to the next level in your development as a player. Yeah, of course, I've backed myself uh, like I since I was 16 coming into the first team. And that's something I'll never, that can never get taken away from me. Uh, my ability to uh, back myself wherever I go, wherever I am. So that's a trait that I've got. And that's one thing I think is so important in the career of a footballer. Yeah, and how frustrating has it, has it been for you personally? There's been a lot of speculation in the summer. You know, and how hard has it been for you to kind of keep your track and get through training in pre-season and then uh, playing the games for Coast United when this move might have been coming around? Yeah, it's been, it's been difficult for me but mentally, to be honest. Um, I'm still young, so there's a lot of learning for me to do. And it, sometimes you know, these things could like, take a toll on you in terms of like, the way you perform and the way like, you react to things. So there's always a lot of learning for me to do. But like, like again, the club have been great with me in the way they that like, supported me throughout this. Obviously, this period it's the first time I've been in this kind of situation. So yeah, I've obviously learned a lot about it, which is important. And yeah, um, hopefully I'm in I'm in this position again. I just want to keep working hard, and focus at the focus on the task at hand.